Broadcasting from the World Conference Center in Bonn, Germany, Solutions Review is on location at the FME User Conference 2023, the peak of data integration. Brought to you by Safe Software and Conterra. Sag Atkinson, back here in Bonn, Germany at the peak of data integration event, and we are joined by an old friend. Yes, absolutely. Derek Cronin. Yeah. Uh, commercial manager yeah. manager at IMGS in Ireland. Yes, absolutely, yeah. But the last time we saw each other, we were in Canada. We were, we were in VC, so, uh, and you had just interviewed a man from Dublin, Ohio. That's correct. And obviously we had some fun with that, so, and I had met him as well, so, um, but yeah, no, it, 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 it's crazy, and it's great to be here in a new venue, and the team at Safe Software and Comterra have done an incredible job at this UC, so really impressive. Well, so talk about the last year. What have you been? Uh, what have you been up to? Yeah, I suppose since we spoke last, I suppose we were more maybe focused on the geospatial side. And at IMGS, we have a, a great lineage of an history of 21 years in the geospatial industry. But as you've probably seen, the focus start to shift, not just from Safe Software, but also from the partner community, start to kind of not to shed geospatial because it will always be a pillar or a core part of who we are, but also maybe to look more towards the enterprise. So instead of trying to rebrand IMGS, which stands for Irish Mapping and GIS Solutions, very, very hard, we decided to launch a new brand called Data Builders. Um, data Builders. So, yeah, Data Builders. Like so, it. And it's in the title, it's very obvious who we were, sure. because we would meet clients and they're like, but you're the GIS guys. And they're like, no, right. no, we're the data guys. So having this new brand um, has really kind of helped us and kind of go after these new enterprise customers. But with that as well, we'll bring safe software on that journey. You've seen probably or heard the other partners speak about that kind of drive for the enterprise and kind of taking over almost uh, to a degree for that kind of enterprise integration. Um, we're trying to, we're going to bring safe software on that journey with us, but also some best in class partners. So we've partnered with the likes of SciSense from a visualization and a meta analytics standpoint, and um, also Data Galaxy, which is a, is a new a new French company around data governance and data lineage. There's some of the enterprise problems that we're starting to see, where before it would have been hysterically GIS stuff that we would have seen. Well, it's interesting because data is becoming way more complicated. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and I think it's fascinating that safe software is is really moving itself into the mainstream and, and not, I mean, it's an incredible competitive advantage to have the geospatial pieces. Absolutely. I mean, it's light yeah. years ahead. Mm -hmm. But um, there's a huge market for non-geospatial data integration. Absolutely, and they don't even call it non-spatial, they just call it data. That's well, That yeah. was also with ourselves as well, which we struggled. Oh, so it's a non-spatial, no, no, it's just a data example. So it was a bit of a retrain inside our own organization as well, just to say that it's still just data. And absolutely, the, the compilation of data or the complexity of business systems, and um, um, ERPs, uh, business intelligence, and good old Excel, is, it's just everywhere. And obviously we're seeing with the likes of AI that it's just generating even more and more data. So we see companies having to have that need to be able to put some sort of, A, give their business users access to that data, but then also from there to be able to visualize it and make business decisions, but also trust it in that lineage piece. So where is this data coming from? How is it feeding into this strategic dashboard, which we're going to make commercial or business decisions on? So yeah, absolutely. And safe software, um, I think had a lot of it in the background, but they're maybe branded as, as more on the, the spatial side. But um, yeah, we hope that with the data builders to really tackle that market, which is massive, as you mentioned. Well, and you have, um being a part of the EU, you have a, a fair amount of complexity around data governance, which mm -hmm. um, has to be taken into consideration and no matter what project you're running. Yeah, absolutely, so GDPR is, is huge, so um, citizens, not, well, even just from a local government perspective, right through to large corporations have a um, responsibility to keep your data responsibly and to keep it only if it has a use. So if all of a sudden I get your email address and we never do business, why do I still have it 10 years later or your bank details or your CV? Um, so yeah, no, it is, it is quite complex. And obviously the fines are very, very substantial in Europe as well. So it's, um, it's definitely a focus point. And we've seen some huge headlines from some of the largest players in Europe with like 200 million and, and, and plus in yeah. terms of fines and stuff like that. So no, that is definitely concern in the marketplace for ourselves. So we're hoping to have this kind of data intelligence solution, which is powered by FME and some of our other partnerships that I had mentioned, so we can go to industry and go, we can start to solve some of these problems for you. Well, and, and, and the problems um, need, need a thoughtful solution. And, and this is one of the things that we hear over and over again at Solutions Review is that 
just because you can do something doesn't mean you need to do that. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And I think it, I think that's part of why you need to bring in people with a little bit, maybe a little bit broader perspective of seeing a thing or two like yourself. Yeah, absolutely. And I think those 21 years of experience on the IMGS side will, with our engineers and our, our management and um, will definitely play into when we do get these larger enterprise customers or when we sit down with them that we have that maturity to know how these projects go um, and hopefully guide them in the right direction. And um, so we're still learning on the enterprise side. Obviously, we've great understanding from a GIS perspective, but in the enterprise, we're still learning the use cases when we go into industry. Um, we're learning them, but they also sound very, very familiar in terms of, well, um, I can't get my data out of here, or this individual's working in a data silo, or I need to see this department's information, and it's guarded, and governance, and yeah, we're, we're hearing a lot of the same stories, I guess, just in a slightly different context. So we can apply our previous experience to these use cases when we're in speaking to these customers as well. So the enterprises can you know, consists of a lot of different vertical markets, mm -hmm. um, retail, financial, Absolutely. healthcare, etc. Mm -hmm. um, and they all have their own issues with regard to compliance and so forth, in mm -hmm. addition to kind of the broader compliance issues. Mm -hmm. I'm curious where you're finding or where you're kind of, are you, are you targeting any particular areas that you, that you like? Good question. So I suppose where we've seen success are in very non-traditional areas for ourselves or industries for ourselves. So some of our recent wins was with a, a betting company. And that's there. Oh, there's some data. Absolutely. And how it's handled from a tax perspective and a transaction perspective. So yes. you may make a bet sitting here, but it may be transacted halfway across the world for tax reasons. And um, so, yeah, that was interesting. We've had some with e-learning as well. So e-learning companies um, that want to visualize their data for their organizations or for their clients. So they can go in and see has Doug done his training course, does he need more training, et cetera. And right. um, we've had some with cybersecurity as well. So really different industries and we are learning as we go along, um, which is great. It is and it's, um, it's not, I wouldn't say bred new life into, I suppose, IMGS and data builders, but we've always been quite enthusiastic about what we do. But it, it's great to give ourselves, from a commercial perspective, these new challenges, meeting these new people, but also for our engineering team to be able to come across these new challenges and just to, uh, just to see how bright they are and to come up with these new ideas, which we wouldn't have even thought of, on, I suppose, on, on a management perspective. It's, yeah, it, it's quite an exciting time for us. So um, there's a lot of excitement. Oh, uh, yes. Last yeah. night, there was a lot of excitement. Oh, there was a lot of excitement <laughs> last night, absolutely. I actually thought they were going to sink the ship at one stage. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> there was a little tour out there. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, but I'm curious, w when you come to an event like this, mm -hmm. um, you know, the, what do you get practically out of this? And what, what kind of, what do you take back with you uh, mm -hmm. that, that can be, you know, exciting? Yeah, that's, that's beneficial. Um, well, I have two engineers. I have our CTO with us. Um, so again, for, for Gavin Park, um, he gets to go to a lot of technical discussions and obviously how our some of the partners providing solutions or customers they're delivering solutions on top of a product for value. So that's quite useful. I also have Horve with me as well. Um, so they get to meet other partners, other engineers, people with those uh, skill levels to yeah, see what they're doing. And for them to share that we did a couple of enterprise solutions. This is probably the first time we've come to an event like this and not presented spatially. It have all been enterprise solutions, yeah, which great. we spoke about, like uh, the, the migration of over 50 million records using FME on an enterprise, no spatial. So that was quite sure good. I'm sure Safe Software love that. Oh, absolutely. Lovely. Don was there as well. So yeah, he, he was really enthusiastic afterwards. Yeah. He's like, we need to do a webinar and do a few bits. So no, yeah, that was very, yeah, you, and you know, Don is so enthusiastic, and Dale, to be fair, they're both yeah. so enthusiastic. For myself on the commercial side, and I know probably from speaking to your other partners that you maybe have spoken to already, uh, it's definitely our collaboration, our sharing, um, what's working in New Zealand, what's working in Australia, what are the team yeah, it's, in It's an incredible Netherlands global. Do. Oh, it is, absolutely, it is. And I suppose we know we insure quite well. I'm here eight years, there's some people that have been coming to these for 20, but it's great just to kind of, on the commercial side, to see what's working, what industries are they starting to see success in, where else are they seeing enterprise success, and I'll obviously share where we've seen it, and obviously where they've seen it. So that's for myself, there are those kind of practical nuggets that I get to bring home to the team in Ireland, and oh, maybe we should look at this area, or they're seeing success over here. But then also we'll have follow-up calls. It doesn't end just when we get on the plane and go home. I'll have follow-up calls with some of the partners to talk a little more. I actually have two already lined up just to kind of talk about where they've seen success, but also where we have. So that collaboration and information sharing is, is really, really important for me on the commercial side. So Yeah, yeah this has been great. Yeah, um, yeah. I really enjoyed it again. It's Garrett, thanks it. very much for swinging by again. Yeah, yeah, Hopefully absolutely. we'll get to see you at another one. In 2025. I, I won't give anything else away just because no, it's recorded. There yeah. might be something there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but best of luck with data builders. That sounds absolutely. exciting. Thank you. And yeah, hopefully we'll have a little session on that next time. Outstanding. Doug, thank you very much. Great to see you again. Cheers. Bye.